No, it's, it's interesting, coming from television, we tend to listen to people's stories and treat them as stories. And there has to be a way, and we, I guess we communicated when we, like Harley's video earlier this evening, where they were recanting what, it, what had transpired, we can't forget that that is beyond just a story. That, ha that touched countless and countless lives to this day. When someone says that they lost 86 members of their family, that's incomprehensible. But as Julian said, we think times are tough now. We don't know tough. We don't know what we, you know, say to yourselves, what could I survive if we were taken over, if we were occupied? Could we survive? Our next honoree is a woman who is now Rabbi Elisa Stanton. Rabbi Stanton, I'm going to ask you to please come to the podium. Rabbi Stanton was ordained as America's first African-American female Jewish rabbi. She grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and Denver in Colorado. When she was 24, Rabbi Stanton converted to Judaism after considering several Eastern regions, religions, excuse me. She's currently the rabbi of Congregation Beit Shalom, a predominantly white synagogue in Greenville, North Carolina, and she would like to tell us her story. Rabbi Stanton's sister, Val Robinson, flew in from Colorado to receive this award on her sister's behalf. Captain William Pinckney, the captain of Amistad, will present to Rabbi Alyssa Stanton, the first African-American rabbi. Captain Pinckney will briefly talk about the Amistad as well. Please join us. Thank you very much. Uh, this has been a very, very interesting evening for me because that at Amistad, we spend our time telling about the stories of cultures joining together for the benefit of mankind. The Amistad story is one about the indomitable human spirit, which is reflected so wonderfully in the stories we've heard about the people who have survived the Holocaust and beyond. Because it's not just that one survival, but the continued survival that makes it important that we learn it, tell it, and teach it to our young people that man's inhumanity to man must cease. Giving this award to uh, Rabbi Stanton is uh, amazing to me because that, uh, she's a first. Uh, I'm a first also. I'm the first black man to ever sail solo around the world. So I know what, what it is to be the first. Uh, there cannot be a first <laughs> unless there's a second. And that's the thing that it, and also we share uh, another thing. Uh, 50, yeah, 50, 52 years ago, I became a Jew. And uh, matter of fact, uh, the dancers that you see were from my congregation in, in Meriden, as well as uh, one of the members of the board of uh, this organization, Janet Kirschheimer, is also a member of the same congregation I am. So I'm getting all kind of joy out of this, as well as an education. So on the behalf of, of the uh, Words of Bond, this award goes to Rabbi Alicia Stanton. I hope I get a chance to meet her someday and, and uh, hear her sermon and her interpretation of why she chose to become part of the chosen. First of all, I'd like to give honor to Bill Tingling and his staff for bringing me here, and a special thanks to him. And it is truly an honor and privilege to accept this award on behalf of my sister, Rabbi Alyssa Stanton. And to stand in the presence of such greatness as I've been sitting here listening. Rabbi Stanton deeply regrets that she was unable to attend this momentous occasion due to her rabbinical obligations. I ask Rabbi Stanton, what message would you like for me to leave with the people? Rabbi Stanton stated, tell them, though it may appear that the barriers have been broken, they merely have been lowered, and lowered enough for God 
to help me step over them. My journey is not an easy one, and I'm still confronted with obstacles, barriers, and profound injustices. But most of all, tell them, through it all, to never let go of your dreams. There are times we excel and times when we fall. And it really doesn't matter how many times we get knocked down during our journey. But what does matter is that we have the strength, the determination to get back up. <laughs>